For this tutorial, we've had some questions on how to connect to an iOS device for testing during development. So we're going to go through this real quick uh, in addition to the docs so it's a little bit more clear. First thing I've done is I've just created a project, uh, vehicle project, uh, space iOS. It can just be a dummy project, any project you're working on will do. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have your uh, device handy. I am using, as you can see here, a handy iPad Air 2. Currently it is plugged in directly to my laptop via USB. That's where we want to start. The next step is we want to open the proper windows that we're going to be using. So we're going to go to deploy and connect and open the deployer. And we're going to just for my purposes drag it over here. And then we're going to go deploy and connect and do connections. And I'm going to drag this guy over here as well. Now that we have our tabs up here, deployer and connections, we're going to go to deployer next and we need to set our configuration to development if we want to do live linking and uh, also we need to generate an engine IPA. So to generate this you'll need a licensing server from Apple. Assuming if you're an Apple developer you will have one of these or you can sign up to be an Apple developer and you can get a licensed packaging server to create your IPA. So we have one here at Autodesk of course so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that in here. I'm going to drag it off screen. I'm going to click the button generate engine IPA as you can see down here on the bottom right, I am generating my IPA, so I'll delete my uh, IP address there and I'll bring this guy back over here just so you can see what's going on. So we are currently generating an iOS engine IPA. On the builds that are out currently, this will generate the engine IPA right here as you've seen it shown up in your build number, engine iOS dev, and this will be right here. In future builds, <clears throat> this is going to show up in your username, app data, local Autodesk Stingray engine, and then there'll be a folder in here that says iOS and then dev. Currently though, I am using the same build you guys are on, so my IPA is pushed here to my install directory. The next thing I want to do is I want to get my iTunes here, and my device is connected. I want to go to apps. There are currently no apps in here. So I'm going to grab my IPA, I'm going to drag it over in here, and now I have this app here ready to go. If I go back to my device and click on apps on the left, you can see that it says remove. So I'll show you guys, this is because I already have an older version of Stingray here on my device. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy, get him out of here, click delete. And now that I've done that, you can see over here, it says install instead of remove. So I'm going to click install, then I'm going to click apply, and I can show you here that now that is installing here in the top corner, and it's almost done, it is done. So now we have that IPA installed here on this device. So we can get rid of these windows, that part is done. You can disconnect your iPad from uh, the USB connection, and now we're just strictly on Wi-Fi. Now that you see over here that we've generated an IPA, we have a bunch more options here on the right panel um, under Deployer. That's for packaging, and we can do that on a different uh, tutorial. Once you've generated the IPA, now you're available to package and push that whole project over. So if we go to Connections next, and then we click on this uh, iOS <coughs> for iPad, which I've created. You can create these by just hitting the plus sign here and adding a target. You can connect to uh, as many as you'd like, multiple targets at once. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to add an IP address for this. So to get this IP address, all you have to do is run the app, click Trust, and you can see that the screens will start loading, and it'll tell us right here what our connection IP address is. So I am going to go ahead and enter my IP address here. It is 192.168.1.3. This checkbox here on the right means run project, and this little dot next to it means connect to device. So let's go ahead and click connect to device. And you'll see down here at the bottom we're doing a data compile. And it's going to compile all this data, and then it's going to push it over here and do a live link directly to the iPad. 
So this will take just a second for it to compile. I'll do an edit and skip ahead. Now that we have pushed that over, we are effectively live linked to the editor. And as I move this around, you can see that we have camera tracking and we are in fact linked up to our iOS device for testing. So this is a good way you can have this running while you're working in the editor and do color matching and all of those um, awesome things that you'd like to do. So the next step is going to be disconnect that, uh, running our project. So to run our project, it's pretty much the exact same setup, except we're going to check this little box right here, uncheck the Windows box. We're going to launch our Stingray app on our uh, device here. And then we're going to go ahead and click, Let me slide this over a little bit. We want to click run project here. And then you can see here on our deployer that that is now populating over to our iPad and has run our actual game. So if I hit the start menu here, I am now in my vehicle. And even though it's a little backwards, I can try and drive this guy a little bit here. And go forwards and then steer him around. Terrible driver backwards in the iOS. And that's a really quick way to test your game and push it over to iOS from Stingray. So, to recap, we've got our connections panel here where you're going to put in the IP address of your iOS device. We have the deployer here, which is where you have created your development IPA. And then we also had our Stingray iOS dev app that we pushed over through iTunes onto our device. And that, of course, is located in, depending on your build, will be here. For earlier builds, it'll be this iOS dev.ipa in your install directory engine iOS dev folder. And for later builds, um, like the next release coming out, it'll be in your app data local Autodesk Stingray engine folder. And in here, there will be an iOS folder with the dev folder, including your IPA that you can then drag over to your device. And of course, you will need a Apple licensed packaging server to uh, hook all this up and generate your IPA. So that's just a quick video walkthrough of how we're going to set up to push a level or a project to test while you're working in the editor, doing a live link, or running your project directly on your device for iOS.